Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 most important calisthenics exercises for beginners. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. What are calisthenics and why should you do them? Calisthenics are exercises that rely solely on a person's own body weight for resistance. These exercises are done in a variety of intensities and rhythms. Light portable objects such as rings and wands are sometimes used in these workouts. Strength, endurance, flexibility and coordination are all improved with these activities. Calisthenics originated in ancient Greece and resurfaced in the early 19th century. These exercises are now used in the fitness training of athletes, military personnel law enforcement officers, and others who want to stay in shape to warm up for rigorous activities, or to help build up their bodies. Scientists are currently researching the use of calisthenics to treat a variety of health issues including obesity and COPD. Calisthenics workouts are a great place to start if you're new to fitness. Fitness fads come and go as we all know workouts that sprout out of nowhere and become popular for a few months often leave without a trace and never return. Some routines on the other hand stand the test of time and remain popular for years if not decades. Calisthenics is one of the most long-lasting workout trends, so it's no surprise that it's one of the top fitness trends for 2020. This article will offer you the lowdown on this practical and successful exercise strategy, as well as the top 10 calisthenic exercises and a beginner workout plan to attempt. Routine Physical Activity Here's a beginner's calisthenics program that targets different sections of the body for a full body workout three times through the following workout circuit with a 30 second pause between each exercise set and a three minute rest between circuit repetitions. Number 10, lunges. Lunges only work one leg at a time making them ideal for detecting and correcting left to right strength imbalances. There are one legged squat with alternating leg movements. Standing with your feet together and arms by your sides is a good way to start. Take a large step forward bend your knees and lower your back knee to the ground. Stop just above the deck with your knee. Return to the starting position by pushing off your front leg. Rep the exercise but this time lead with the other leg. Alternate your legs for the duration of the set. Number 9. Leg raises. Leg lifts like planks work your core. Leg raises are a rigorous exercise that can be difficult on your lower back, if done incorrectly, but they're a great way to develop your abdominals. Lay on your back with your legs, and hands flat on the floor next to your hips to perform this exercise. Contract your abs and lift your legs until they are upright maintaining them straight. Return to the starting position by lowering your legs and repeating the process. Is it too simple? This exercise can also be done while hanging from a pull-up bar. Number 8. 10 pull-ups. Place yourself in front of an exercise bar. With your arms slightly wider than shoulder width apart grab the bar from the top. Pull yourself up using your shoulder muscles bringing your head over the bar. If there is one disadvantage to calisthenic training it is, that there aren't many upper back and biceps exercises for beginners. The majority of them require you to lift your entire body weight with only your arms. Pull-ups are a great upper body exercise but they can be difficult for beginners. Instead do band-assisted pull-ups to make them more bearable. With an overhand grasp somewhat broader than shoulder width grab and hold an overhead bar. Straighten your arms and draw your shoulders down and back. Cross your feet and bend your legs bend your arms and lift yourself up. Until your chin is slightly over the bar without kicking or swinging. Extend your arms and do it again. Number 7.10 Chin-ups. Place yourself in front of an exercise bar. Grasp the bar with your arms in a tight slightly closer than shoulder width hold from underneath. Pull yourself up using your biceps lifting your head over the bar. Rubicon Project is in charge of this website. Number 6. 20 dips. Stand within a dip bar and pull yourself off the ground with your arms and shoulders. To move up and down bend your elbows back and use your tricep muscles. If you don't have access to a dip bar you can do dips on an exercise ball, or bench with your feet on the ground and knees bent at a 90 degree angle. While you will need a set of parallel bars for this workout, you may be able to find ones for free in your local park. Parallel dips are a push-up sequence that works your chest, shoulders and triceps. Take a shoulder width grip on the bars. As you step or jump up keep your arms straight to support your weight. Bend your elbows and lower yourself until your upper arms are parallel to the floor. Push yourself up and do it again. 
Dips can be made easier by employing a resistance band to support some of your body weight just like pull-ups. Number 5. 25 Jump Squats. Stand with your back to the camera and your feet parallel to the ground precisely beneath your shoulders. Step your feet apart a few inches and point your toes slightly outward. Lower yourself into a squat by bending your knees and dropping your hips back and down. Maintain an upright posture with your head and face forward. Get into as deep a squat as you can and then blast upwards into a jump. Never extend your knees over your toes, because this transfers their squat strain to your knee joints. Your knee joints may be injured as a result of this. Number 4. 20 Push-Ups. Get down on your knees and position your hands slightly outside, but underneath your shoulders. Extend your legs while raising your torso with your arms into a plank position. Make sure your back doesn't slump or your backside sticks up into the air. Bend your elbows tight to your torso and lower your body, until your chest is practically touching the floor. When your upper torso is in the lower push-up position, your upper arm should make a 45-degree angle. While in the lower position take a breath, and swiftly push yourself back up to the beginning position. Throughout the movement keep your abdomen or core contracted. Number 3. 50 Crunches. Lay down on your back on the ground. Place your feet flat on the ground and bend your knees 90 degrees to your torso. Keep your head about a fist's distance from your chest, and cross your hands on top of your chest. Sit up till your elbows or chest touch your knees while keeping your core taut. Focus on pulling yourself up with your core muscles, breathing out as you sit and in as you lie down. Number 2. 10 Burpees. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart your weight in your heels, and your arms at your sides looking forward. Squat down by pushing your hips back and bending your knees. Place your hands on the floor in front of you palms down a little narrower than your feet. Place your weight in your hands and hop your feet back, landing softly on the balls off your feet in a plank posture. Make sure your back doesn't slump or your backside sticks up into the air. Your feet should fall near to your hands when you jump forward. Jump into the air rapidly by raising your arms above your head. Number 1. 30 seconds of jump rope. Grasp the jump rope handles, and keep your hands around the same distance apart from your body's centerline. While jumping 1 to 2 inches off the ground and clearing the rope, rotate the rope with your wrists rather than your elbows or shoulders. Keep your toes pointed down and your knees slightly bent as you jump. Weight exercises versus calisthenics. Calisthenics workouts require a person to undertake strength training movements using just their own body weight. Weight workouts on the other hand require a person to conduct strength training movements using dumbbells or other weighted devices. Calisthenics and weight exercises according to researchers, provide equal physical outcomes at least in the short term. In one study, 15 men did a weight training session and 17 men did the US Army's calisthenics-based standardized physical training program for 1.5 hours a day, 5 days a week for 8 weeks both groups fitness, levels improved to a similar extent by the conclusion of the 8 weeks. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 most important calisthenics exercises for beginners you find most interesting? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.